It has been a while. So I haven't seen anything worth recommending lately. Uh, Venom 2 looks worse and worse the more I think about it. Uh, games haven't been any better. Tormented Souls was kind of cool, and I really like how they handle the multiple endings, but that's about all I have to say about it. Now, whilst perusing my phone like the depressed zombie I am, I happened upon an article by Distractify about the relationship between Baki and Kozway from the new season of Baki. Which, real fast, I also don't give a recommendation to. In this article, they briefly ask where Kozway is and why she isn't around. This article isn't nearly as retarded as the other one I did a video on, and where is a character at is a totally legit question. I can't help but think that the writer of this article doesn't understand Baki, though. I also like the tweet, so let's get into this. If you don't watch a lot of anime, then it could be really easy to lump it all under a single umbrella. But the truth is, there are tons of different genres and subcategories of anime. Folks who love Cowboy Bebop probably aren't going to rock with something like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And if you're into Hunter x Hunter, then maybe Lupin the Third won't be your cup of tea. Folks, keep this opening paragraph in mind. It's going to be important later. Makihana is a very specific type of anime too in that it's extremely violent and hypermasculine. And even though lots of folks watch it for its action and ridiculously jacked dudes, there are some narrative questions a lot of people have. For instance, what happened to Baki's girlfriend? Look, there's a lot of narrative questions I have regarding this 30-year-old series, and not one of them is where has Kozue been. You remember that opening paragraph of the article about not everything is made for everybody? If the question keeping you up at night is, Oh my god, where's Becky's girlfriend? Then this probably isn't the series for you. If you watch a single episode of Baki, then there are a few things made immediately clear. The anime is obsessed with the male form. Sure, it's grisly and there's tons of gut-wrenching, brutal action, but a lot has been discussed about Baki's apparent sexualization of male characters. Most of the storylines in the anime focus on male-slash-male relationships. I might be going off topic, but I want to touch on the sexualization thing really quick, because I see it pop up often. Maybe it's just me, and this could just be me now, but none of the Baki characters are what I'd call sexy. Romanticized, certainly, but not sexy. What do I mean by that? Well, the Baki characters look like a Greek hero statue amped up to 11. Hell, Baki's thigh has more abs than Bruce Wayne. Now, that used to be pretty tame looking back in the first series. Then the series goes on, Baki starts growing muscles where they don't exist on the human body, and suddenly the writer's history of being a boxer and taking one too many hits to the noggin suddenly starts to make sense. The female characters in the anime and manga are often either not portrayed in the best light, like Baki's mom who has an odd relationship with her son, or Biscuit Oliva's wife who treats him with utter contempt. Then there are characters who are used as plot vehicles like Baki's girlfriend Kozue. In the anime, Kozue's tears help to heal Baki and when he sleeps with her he becomes stronger! Yeah, we call that PP training. Shoutouts to anybody who gets the reference. But anyway, I won't argue this. Kozue is basically a prop. I mean, she levels up to MacGuffin on occasion, but eh. That's because at no point in the story is Baki ever about her. Her one major interactive role where she hasn't just been a passive observer was only there to build up Baki's story about learning sex is awesome. Baki and Kozue are featured as pretty hot and heavy in the anime, and they clearly have a fondness for one another. But fans soon noticed that as the series progressed, they started seeing less and less of the grappler's main squeeze. So what happened to Kozue? Are they still together? It doesn't matter. She has nothing to do with a prehistoric Iceman, a resurrected samurai, or a sumo god reborn. Hell, Baki rarely has anything to do with future storylines. Past Son of Ogre, Baki has pretty much stopped developing as a character. Which is to be expected, I mean the series has been around for about 30 years or so, Baki and the other characters from that point on more so react to the world instead of being changed by it. And Kozue, she shows up during the Yujiro fight to talk some shit and dips out. And even that had little relevance to the situation at hand and only served to pat out an already bloated fight sequence. A lot of longtime fans of the series have noticed that there's a specific point in the series where Keisuke Itagaki seemingly abandons all of the female characters in the manga. Kozue does make small returns in the manga, however. In chapter 186 of the Son of Ogre storyline, Kozue actually does appear right before Baki fights his dad, the world's most vicious and accomplished martial artist. 
Sorry, if they can't punch faster than sound, cut a fire truck in half, or do 4,000 years of kung fu, they really have no place in Baki. And that's okay. Baki is, at the end of the day, flashy lights. The writing sucks. The characters mostly suck. But the fights are amazing. Itagaki really is the George Lucas of anime and manga. He does spectacle fantastically well and not much else. This goes back to that opening paragraph of the article where they say not everything is made for everyone. The relationship did seemingly take a hit in the series, however, when Kozue ends up mired in a relationship love triangle between herself, Baki, and Muhammad Ali Jr., yes, not very subtle with the nomenclature, while Kozue ultimately ends up going back to Baki, things between the two never really stayed the same. Again, if this is what you care about, you're reading the wrong series. Audiences of the anime did notice that Kozue was absent from the series, with many wondering when she is going to return. But if the anime is true to the manga, then viewers can expect to see a lot more fighting and training for epic battles instead of seeing relationship building between Baki or Kozue, or any of the other characters and their significant others for that matter. Yeah, that's the whole point of the series. It's dumb action on repeat, and it's great. You think Kozue got it bad? I'm pretty sure we never hear about Dopo's wife after Dorian attacked his home. I don't think she makes an appearance again until Katsumi fights Pickle, and even then, she only gets maybe two panels. So I'm watching the new Baki right, and Oliver keep talking about his girlfriend right? Why it end up being a bedridden, my 600-pound life-ass chick? <laughs> Let's be honest, a black guy shacking up with a fat white chick is probably the most realistic thing in the entire series. Seriously though, I like the addition of Maria, adds some depth to Oliver and why he does what he does. Would love to finally find out what he's in jail for though. He explicitly states that abstinence is for suckers. Do it morning and night, do it before and after meals, do it until you can't any longer, just do it until there's nothing left. He demands with an evil and menacing smile, he then congratulates them and leaves. Oh, I can't wait for the pickle arc to get released then. If an established bad character saying something you think is bad bothers you, I can't wait for that scene. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Makes me wonder if it'll even get made into the anime. Oh, it definitely would for Japan, but Woke America will probably bitch about it. I don't know how any of that works, so only time will tell. As mentioned, I do agree with the writer that Kozue is usually just there, and maybe that's why I'm glad she isn't in the story as much. If you have to force a use for a character just to have said character present, you don't need that character. Baki isn't written for people looking for deep relationships and wondering if anyone is going to profess their love. The only character who remains interesting at this point, in my opinion, in the series is Jack. What Baki is, is violence glorified, and it's really good at that. It so all goes back to that first thing the article talks about. Not everything is made for everyone. But that's all I got for today. Go out there and treat each other like y'all have some sense.